yeah, that's Brazilian rockers Red Water and their new single, Ember. That's a nice vibe, man, there. Nice and dark, but yet hopeful. I love it. Today we may have, we may have the whole band or just a couple of the guys joining us to tell us all about it. But in case you're not familiar with Red Water, let me tell you a little about them. Red Water, true to the pure essence of the phrase, is a rock and roll band founded in August of 2013 in the city of Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo, Brazil. In April 2014, they moved to Ribe, I'm going to say this correctly, Ribeirão Preto, Sao Paulo, and have been playing shows and capturing hearts ever since. I'm sure they're going to correct me on that one. So please welcome Red Water joining us live from Brazil for the first time here on Hair Metal Mixtape. Red Water, welcome to Hair Metal Mixtape. Who do I got today? Hey, Gabriel. Hey, Gabriel. We're all here, the five of us. Oh, what's up, guys? How's it going? We're doing great. How are you? Good, man. It's really nice out today. It's uh, It's been raining like crazy, so nice. Today the sun is out and things are pretty good, man. How about you guys? We're doing all right. In fact, we were just rehearsing. We, we stopped rehearsal to to do this so oh that's awesome man you guys are all warmed up and ready to go <laughs> can uh can each one of you introduce yourselves with your name and what you play in the band yeah i'm lucas and I, i'm the lead singer um i'm igor and i'm the drummer <laughs> i'm paulo i'm the bass player i'm bruno shimabukuro and i play guitar hello gabriel What's I'm up? Hermes and I'm playing guitar. Is that five? <laughs> yeah, we're done now. I'm not so good on the counting part. Dude, that's so nice to meet you guys. Um, you know, obviously we don't have a lot of time, but we have enough time to have some fun. And uh, so let's jump right in, man. You guys currently have previously released the single Doing Wrong on all streaming platforms featuring that B-side, The Scent of One's Nature, which is also awesome which was again very well received on all national press and rock radios. And I personally like both these songs, man. So now you have this new single, Amber, that we just heard. So tell us a little bit more about this song, man, where that came from. Well, um, that was actually the, the, like, the first song we wrote during the pandemic. We were just you know, playing and the song came up and uh, we felt, I don't know, it felt just, you know, suitable for the, the context. And, um, but, it, but in the meantime, it's kind of personal as well. You know, it's, um, it's, and it's really, I don't know, I would say personally, it's kind of, from my perspective, it's out of our comfort zone. It sounds a little different to me. And, and this is what was cool about it. The cool thing about releasing it right now as a single is because, you know, people, uh, our fans uh, haven't had the opportunity to listen to uh, new songs in quite a while. So during all, uh, uh, given the context, it was cool for us to, to write the song and to put it out right now, you know, among all the, the other, I don't know, 10 songs that we wrote in the past year. Oh, right. And even the name of the song, Amber, it's, it's already like a darker, you know, as not as bright type name. So is this song and the two other songs for an upcoming album? Not uh, regarding the name, you know, it's funny. Like uh, the song is about stubbornness. You uh. see, like it's 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 a it's quite a context that you just cannot ignore. You know, like I suppose most of us go through it, and it's quite something that we usually, uh, you know, uh, turn a blind eye on it. But it, I don't know. It was cool to approach it because you know, as as a stubborn person myself, I suppose it's something that I could not go through my life without approaching it as an artist. So it's a fun theme and I hope people get to relate to it. And, uh, and regarding the other two songs, um, uh, well, no, we do, we do not expect to, uh, I mean, I suppose they will come up in, in, in records to come, you know, like I suppose when we release our debut EP, our debut full length, I suppose these songs will be on it. But it's not our intention to, like, we're not trying to um, induce something with these songs. We were just trying to keep our fans uh, engaged in order to, because, you know, as we we couldn't, uh, through all these years, we just, we simply couldn't uh, uh, release an EP uh, and release a, a record. We just kept um, putting out singles so our fans could be engaged with it. And yes, I suppose they will be coming out in, in, in records to come. Yeah, because these days, man, if you don't put stuff out every once in a while, people just tend to forget. Yeah. 
Um, so your music has been described, uh, I've read, as like classic rock. Do you think that's true for you guys? Uh, is like classic rock the, the band's main influence? Or I mean, I know everyone says that they listen to everything, you know, but I don't know. How do you guys feel about the classic rock label? Well, I suppose, like, <laughs> I mean, I guess they say, I guess nowadays you're saying the new wave of classic rock, right? Because you guys are not classic from back in the day, so it's almost kind of yeah, silly, that's right? Kind of funny, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I, I suppose that's like we play rock and roll, and that's all we do. Yeah. And but I suppose this is the the the, the label that gets closer to us because i suppose in classic rock you can find bands that weren't limited by genre or subgenres you know there were there were just bands that were playing like um, rockabilly tunes and prog tunes you know you could find in one record a, a really um wide spectrum of creativity and this is cool because uh so yeah i get i suppose that would be the label that would get the closest to us um, because no, they, they just wouldn't limit it themselves, um, uh, limit, sorry, themselves. So I suppose that's, that's where you can get closer to us with. Yeah. And if you're going to call it classic rock, you can just say it's rock influenced by everything from today, from all the way back to the fifties. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, certainly. That, that's why it's a clever, um, maneuver. Yeah. Yeah, totally, man. Um, what did you guys listen to, like growing up and stuff, when you guys were first getting into music and listening to stuff on your own? Well, I think that I start by country music with, with my dad, and I don't know. <laughs> um, hey man, look, um, I'll, I'll say too. When I was growing up, my dad was playing Julio Iglesias all the time, so it's just like that's the stuff. <laughs> You know, and then like my uh -huh. sisters were trying to play menudo for me because you know we're all from Argentina, so like I get it, man. We all listen to weird crap growing up, you know. <laughs> yeah, certainly. My dad used to listen to disco music, you know, and and you know, yeah, it's, it's crazy when you listen to something like when you're five or six, you, you tend to love it because you tend to draw this emotional attachment to it in, in such a way that you winds up liking it afterwards, you know. Yeah, so Igor was about to say something. I just cut him off. I, I just, uh -huh. I was, uh, I grew up listening to punk rock bands, you know, because of my dad too. <laughs> and the bands that were playing on MTV, like Guns and Aerosmith and things like that, you know. <laughs> yeah, my father showed me ACDC too, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, totally. What are you guys listening to now these days? Oh, this I cannot answer this, you know, because John Carreira and Virginia, some some bands from Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> it's all politics, man. John Carreira and Pardinho. John Carreira and Pardinho. It's fucking great. Uh, the yeah. best duo ever. Okay. Yeah, it's a Brazilian thing, you know. But uh, yeah, like I couldn't answer this one because I, I you know, like. I don't know. Is somebody take this one? I'm not listening to nothing. There you go. No, that's good enough for me, man. That's all right. You don't have to give it up. You're listening to you guys rehearse. You know, that's what you're doing. You're listening to you guys rehearse. Yeah, and we rehearse every day. So basically, while we listen to these days, the honest answer will be the red water. You know. Nice. Do you guys have any live shows coming well, up? Festivals suppose, or anything like that? I suppose. Uh, sorry. What? 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 Was, what you were saying? Go on. Do you guys have any live shows coming up? Because you're rehearsing a lot, so. Actually, we just rehearse because, you know, we're so sloppy that if we stop rehearsing, <laughs> we just fall apart. You know? You're going to forget how to play. But, you know, but to be honest, like, uh, like um, the, the, the process of coming back, you know, to normality in Brazil is kind of slow. So we don't have any shows right now. We're focusing on working on the new songs and all that and doing some online promotion uh, and working on Amber, the promotion of Amber. But, um, but basically, like, uh, we have this this private gig coming up and we're we're starting to book shows you know we're starting to book shows to december and on but, but as of right now we're just focusing on on, on on the songs that we wrote that's awesome that's so cool is there anything uh i might have missed that you guys want to let people know like uh where can we find you guys websites all that stuff yeah we have our website which is redwaterofficial.com and we also have our instagram page which is instagram.com um slash uh, redwater dot 
33. And on Facebook, you can find us as well on this um, uh, facebook.com slash um, redwater33 without the dot. On Instagram, you've got the dot uh, between those. And on Facebook, you do not. Uh, yeah, you can find us there on, on YouTube as well. And um, yeah, and regarding something like you've missed, I, I, I don't think so. Like, um, does, does anyone I, have I anything? Hope that every, everybody that is listening to, to Amber, I, I hope they, they like it awesome. and enjoy it. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having some fun, letting people know who you thank are. Thank you for having us. Man. Of course, man. I really appreciate you having us. Thank you, guys. It was a, was a pleasure. Yeah, guys, thank anytime. Really next, next time you guys thank have you another. In New York. Uh huh. Go ahead. <laughs> That's pretty much it, man. Thank you very much for having us. Awesome, guys. Yeah, next time you got a single, let me know and uh, I'll have you back on. We'll have some got more it. fun. You got it, man. We'll stay tuned. Thank you very much, Gabriel. See you soon. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks again. Keep rocking. You too, man. Bye bye.